you. Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we... Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way.
that? You didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. What the? Crixus ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? Is some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay. I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, 
wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. I want to 
to jump to. Well, I don't know about either of you, but it's been a while since I felt this old. Perhaps it's time to put this all to an end. Uh, at least this once. Here, take the artifacts before I come to my senses.
Heck of a thing we pulled off. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh... You're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times and... I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, we'd both regret it. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. But I gotta keep telling myself that Cora's ready for this. And hey, same goes for you. If we don't see each other on the other side, it's been... Um, <laughs> all worth it. Really, Walter? There must be uh, something... When the time's right, I'd appreciate the chat. That's the end of it. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Ko and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, <laughs> he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it, that's powerful stuff. And now, I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? I believe that might be the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye, as well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Barrett, for all his antics, was an essential part of this group. Friend. Well, 
It's not about looking for thanks. I just... It needed to be done, that's all. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. I hope Cora doesn't get too much Sarah. underfoot. I know we argue about Our journey about seems money. to be coming to an end. Most of it is in jest, but occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been, and continues to be, an honor to do so. And when this is all over, I have my we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me. So, the unity awaits. Fair enough. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Since we're already Stepping away from the world you know. There is one more thing I'd like to do for Barrett, and I'd appreciate your input. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? I hadn't thought of that. Hmm, that's a nice idea. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try if and... If you are on. free soon, yes. Could we talk? I think that's right. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? They are dedicated in their cause. This is rare and admirable, I think. My past is complicated. Anyone here will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. A goal is something you work towards, an expectation of achievement. That is not the same. I believe it is sometimes phrased as, the destination is not as important as the journey. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause, and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Yes, you need me? That is all? 
Very well. I don't know about you, but if I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. Now that you have all the artifacts, we should talk. A moment, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. I know I should be excited, but I can't stop thinking about the fact that the Keeper knew about the unity but chose to keep it hidden. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work, especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind, or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. 
I'll miss you all. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. You're doing a great job, String Pete. I'm proud of you. What do you say we get you a... Ah, uh, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Uh -huh. I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Porco, that room of yours better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. So this is it. This, this armillary can, can finally be assembled. Uh, and the Starborn fine, assure that fine, something okay. will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. I know that, and believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh, what have I done? Ah, <sighs> all right, let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown.
need some work? Anything I can help you with? Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as new. I'm sure you can find something. Okay, no problem. Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, have at it.
you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landing. Okay, no problem. Got anything you need to offload? Okay, no problem. Some work done? Okay, no problem.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? And your determination has brought you to this place. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial. One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time.
What's powering that thing? You know what? Just hold still while we do the contraband check. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear her out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if she's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth, or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. 
I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. As long as you keep the other Starborn from killing us, it's all yours. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. Well, it is customary to say welcome. Isn't the woman I'm supposed to know from another side? That was some meeting to listen in on. Starborn, are you? Anyone who doesn't charge into a room swinging is a friend in my book. Tried crossing all the T's with the information you unloaded to Sarah and the others. I've got good news and bad. Good news is the eyes found what you're looking for. Bad news is they're not in the places you said they'd be. By last time, you mean your last time, right? Thinking if it's really a multiverse, then maybe the artifacts aren't always in the same spots.
Well, helps that you gave everything we needed to track them down. Honestly, it makes my hair stand on end, like we're cheating time somehow. Here's the data. Manage to find a planet that might have one of those temples you talked about as well. Can probably find more temples if I have enough time to cross-reference. Come back when you've given the first one the thorough comb.